Hello, welcome back to Vegan at Life. I know it's been about two months since I posted a video, but um, life has been life and uh, my husband had surgery as well as my little Yorkie. So just been busy with multitasking work and um, appointments and things like that. So I definitely have not, um, I definitely have not had a chance to uh, squeeze in YouTube videos. So just want to do a quick video today. It won't be a cooking video, but as I've shared before, uh, when you're saying that you are vegan, vegan is a lifestyle that is incorporating the way in which you eat. It also incorporates the products that you use, far as your toiletries, uh, cleaning products, everything that you encounter you try to have it as clean as possible have it vegan as possible meaning uh, plant-based derived ingredients um, and a lot of that those items i do tend to look for and usually can find the majority of everything that i purchase in that scope of toiletries um, at tj Maxx. Marshalls, Home Goods, and Ross. Those are my stores that I go to first and foremost. If I need something specifically um, and cannot find them there, then you know I will go to Whole Foods or Sprouts to look for it. But as far as cost effectiveness, I find the majority of what I need uh, between those major four stores that I go to. And also, I'm not sure if you all have a Pop Shelf, which is a fairly new store in your area, but if you do, they have awesome plant-based cleaning products. They have your dish soap, um, your multi-purpose cleaner, uh, hand soaps, everything like that. They have a good selection of those. So that is another go-to. Also, I will go to if needed uh, with trying to find what I'm looking for in that category before going to a Whole Foods or Sprout. So check in your local area if you happen to have a Pop Shelf, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods, those and Ross. Those are definitely my go-to stores where I also can find um, a lot of my supplements that I may um, utilize, my root powders that I add to my smoothies or my protein powders. Um, I usually check those stores. My spices, sometimes different vegan snacks or uh, pancake mixes and things like that. So I always check that home section of those stores and you'll be surprised what you can find with that. Um, but yeah, the video today is just going to be on some products that I just currently have on hand um, that I'm using. I don't stick with a particular name brand. I just usually look to see if that product is labeled vegan, cruelty-free, plant-derived ingredients, clean ingredients, anything around that kind of description but I do try to make sure that the products I get are cruelty-free because vegan for me is definitely associated with the way that I eat, um, overall health, but I am an advocate for animal rights uh, from that perspective and um, environmental rights. So vegan is usually encompassing all of those things. But sometimes someone that's vegan may just, you know, say their specific reason for being vegan may be one of those three or two of those three. But for me, it's all three. It's a combination of all three items. So that's why I just make a point to look for items outside of my food products to be um, vegan or recycled. Just anything that impacts um animal experimentation, which is usually incorporated for a lot of cleaning products and toiletries. Um, so that is why it's important to look for products that do reflect cruelty-free, um, because a lot of times experimentation has been done on animals around different products that are used for toiletries and 
cleaning products. So I do try to promote it from that perspective, as well as being environmental friendly as well. The least amount of chemicals that you have in your products, the better. So just strive to look for that. But these are just a few things that I have that I share with you. This one is called uh, Earth Rated. These are plant-based doggy wipes that I used um, when my dogs come in from outside of, you know, using the bathroom or in the mornings. It's very wet outside to wipe their paws off or just to refresh them a little bit. This particular one is lavender uh, base and it does let you know that it's free of alcohol, parabens, hypoallergenic, thick and durable, which is reflected there on the side. And I got these ironically at Ross for $4.99. Um, as you can see there, it does reflect that it's a cruelty-free product. Um, so this is a very good product. I do try to get things even for them um, that have uh, the best ingredients that I can provide for them. So yeah, this was 100 wipes for $4.99. And this is a brand of toothpaste that I faithfully look for. Um, between TJ Maxx and Marshalls, um, I usually can find it. Um, this particular brand, this was $5.99. I got this at TJ Maxx. And normally when I go to get restock on toothpaste or mouthwash, I get two or three of these at a time. Because sometimes, of course, they're not um, always available when you're going in those types of stores. And on the back, if you read the ingredients, it's strictly herbs. It's very clean, um, a very clean product with that. And it's also um, a not-for-profit owned uh, organization sponsorship there. Uh, but yeah, on the front, it clearly tells you in these ingredients what's not in there, but it also has vegan on the very bottom of that list as well. But I, I really, really like this particular product. So I do try to find this. If they happen not to have it, um, because this is a herbal toothpaste that has 23 herbs and extracts. So this is a very, very clean product. Um, if they happen not to have it, I do try to find another product that is labeled vegan or plant-based. I just try to get um, a clean product as much as possible. And this is the mouthwash. That is that same brand. I love this. This has those same 23 herbs, uh, herbal extracts and essential oils. Um, it includes neem and pilu. I'm not specifically familiar with those specific herbs, but this is a very, very good product. Again, this one I got at TJ Maxx, it was $7.99. The ingredients are very, very clean ingredients. And this also has vegan labeled in this description area as well. So usually with these, I will get two and three um, at the time, just to make sure I try to keep some on hand. And I don't feel like the price is a bad price or overly expensive uh, for the quality of what you're getting. And again, I'm the only one in my household that's vegan, so these things can last me uh, quite a while on that. But those two did come from TJ Maxx. Um, this one is a deodorant that I've been using um, that is vegan. I got this one at TJ Maxx as well. Let me close this and see if this might help with my lighting a little bit. There, I'm not sure if you can see it. Hopefully you can see it um, well on that. But this one is Positive Vibes Only. Lush Lavender Deodorant infused with jojoba oil. Um, and other natural oils, but this is a vegan deodorant, a vegan product. 
On the back, it lets you know that it's vegan friendly. Um, hopefully you can see that. And it's also PETA approved, which is a very um, popular and involved uh, vegan organization around animal rights. Um, so this is a product that is approved by them and I really love the smell of this. It smells really good. But I did get this at TJ Maxx a while back for $3.99. So that was not um, pricey at all. And let's see what else we got here. As uh, far as body washes and soaps, I usually use two. Uh, this is Castle Soap. I always keep this on hand. Um, I got this one at TJ Maxx. Um, it was on clearance. Um, I think this was for $5. I know it was a very good price because Castor soap is usually very expensive. Um, so I always go to that clearance section to see what I can find as a deal there, even before I just purchase a regular product there. Um, but this one is really good. This is also um, no animal testing, plant-based ingredients, cruelty-free, sulfate-free, and paraben-free. So those are all listed there on the side. So this is a very good product. I like to use this when I get home from the gym or if I'm outside doing somewhere I'm sweating. I just like my skin to be cleaned very well. And Castor Soap is a good um, cleaning uh, body wash um, in that regard. And this is the other body wash, second body wash that I use after I use the castle soap because castle soap does strip your skin of all your oils and dirt and everything. So I like to replenish my skin um, in the shower. And this one is one that I got at TJ Maxx as well. I think I got this one for $6.99 for this bottle. Uh, this one is very clean ingredients. It's... Um, for sensitive skin, it's called Simple. Um, and I think it's just reflecting that the ingredients are just very simple. It doesn't have a lot of chemicals in it, but it's dermatology tested, 0% harsh chemicals, artificial perfume, and 0% derived ingredients. That's what's notated on the bottom. And this one is a very good product. I like this. So I just usually use this as more like a moisturizing type soap uh, to replenish after I use the castle soap. So that one's a good one there. Um, and let's see, anything else bath related? Okay, this one, I love this product, um, the Honey Pot. This is an excellent feminine wash. Um, it is plant-derived. Uh, feminine care is cruelty-free and it's dermatology um, approved on that. So this is an excellent product. My daughter introduced me to this ooh, a few years ago. I think I had, I was vegan already. So I think it was right around the time I first went vegan in 2018. But I've been using this product for a while and it's an excellent product. Um, it was uh, a black owned company, black woman owned uh, company. I'm not sure if she still owns it or if it's been sold, but um, nonetheless, I enjoy the product. It is plant-based. So this is one I highly recommend for us ladies to make sure we keep um, certain things in our areas um, as clean as possible uh, with the ingredients. So that's a very good one. Um, let's see. And then I guess I'm almost wrapping it up here. A few things that I use as far as just once I get out the shower and everything, um, I did get this body butter with collagen. This came from TJ Maxx, <laughs> $6.99 for 31 ounces. Excellent, excellent price. Uh, this is a body butter enriched with collagen and coconut vanilla. It's vegan, as you see at the top, gluten-free and paraben-free. 
Um, so this is a very good, good product. I like it. It's nice and thick, but it's not, um, it's not too thick. To me, it's just a great balance. But with that, I always um, like to add a body oil into the lotion. I'll probably put like a pump of this in my hand, then a few drops of a body oil that I'm using, which I found this one at TJ Maxx, $5.99. Um, this is vitamin C all over body oil with coconut and a vitamin C blend. Um, uh, an all over body oil with deeply hydrating benefits that help brighten the skin, coconut oil, paraben free, gluten free and vegan. And those descriptions of where it's vegan is right here in this little area here. But this is a very good product as well. Um, the ingredients are very clean. You can pronounce all of the ingredients. They're pretty much all herbs or oils um, that are listed there. And I just usually um, squeeze up a full droplet of this and just drop a couple of drops in my hand at the time as I'm using the body butter lotion. So I just like to use these two together. So as you saw, everything that I pretty much had over here today was from TJ Maxx. That's my first stop, my first go-to. The other stores, just as I go in there on the weekend, I just always go to that section of the beauty section and the home gourmet food section in those stores to try to look to see just if it's anything I can utilize that they may have. And then the last item is, um, I love this brand, Raw Sugar. Uh, this is just a hand sanitizer. Just thought to show you this one because it is cruelty free and it's vegan. This is right here on that little side where it reflects that. And this particular uh, one, it may be in other stores, but this one I got at Target. Uh, they have the body wash, they have shampoo, they have a lot in this particular brand of raw sugar. So this is a very, very good product as well. So this is just a watermelon and aloe vera um, scent of that but it lets you know that it's made with plant derived ingredients um that's 99.9 .9 effective against most germs so that is a good product there so that's pretty much it for the day i just want to share a few items that i use i do encourage you to be mindful um if you are considering this particular lifestyle or if you are recently transitioning to vegan to just look to incorporate as many products outside of your food um, as possible because lotions and and things that we put on our body is still being absorbed in our skin so you still want to have the same mindset as you do with what you're consuming far as eating in that format. So anything that's being absorbed into your body in some way, you want to do your best to incorporate everything being vegan as much as possible or plant-based as they may say. Um, but that's it for this video today. I just want to do, come on and do something really quick. I miss uh, filming something for you guys because you know I have recently released uh, my initial channel and videos in March. And I was just left and right turning March out. I think I was giving y'all maybe two to three videos a week, but March was just my power month. And then um, come April 1st, like I said, um, life started life. And so I had to just kind of step away for a couple of months to make sure I took care of that. So just looking to get back um, to doing some filming at least providing you guys something once a week. Um, my next video will be um, a cooking video. I'm looking to do, I think I'm gonna show you guys um, how I prepare like my um, Alfredo sauce. I want to do some pasta noodles with some broccoli and spinach and kale. Um, so I'll probably film that when I get that made. 
Um, I will be getting ready to do a detox soon because I was supposed to, my intention was to do it in May. It was just entirely too many things going on in May for me to focus and give it my full attention. So I just chose to <laughs> not continue to do that after the first day or two because just trying to maintain mentally and emotionally to be in tune and intentional in what I was doing, I, I just could not do it. I was just kind of being pulled in too many directions during that time. So I will do my best to do some filming during this time and just kind of keep you updated on how I'm progressing with my detox. It will be a 30-day detox. Um, I'm looking to start that on Monday. That'll be June the 3rd. And I will just go until um, July 3rd on that. So I'm not really starting it today, which is June 1st, and I'm filming this. Um, I'm just going to wait and start on Monday. So I hope you guys enjoyed the information that I shared with you. And share in the comments of just maybe some stores that you find your favorite products at. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, or if you just want to share anything that um, would be beneficial to this channel, please share in the comments. And thank you again for taking time to watch my video. If you haven't subscribed already, I hope that you will consider subscribing. I hope you will like this video and share it with someone else. And you guys have a great day. And remember to focus on your journey, not your destination. Thank you. Bye.